I realize I've missed something, uh, and it's pr pretty important. It took me a lot of time to figure out myself, and uh, I think it deserves its own short video. So let's just briefly go through it. So um, sometimes in the videos we see some stuff move and other stuff stay still. So how do we manage to do that? So let's just see an example. Here, uh, the cosine line moves and everything else stays still. So first of all, where do you even get a uh, cosine line? Well, I googled cosine usable graph and some other stuff as well, but nothing came up. So I went uh, to this website and um, it's, it's a pretty good application and website. And I found several uh, different equations, but I didn't need uh, the signs, so I made them go away. Then, well, here we have a shorter wavelength, so uh, a lot more bumps, so I need more bumps, so I change the equation a bit. So let's say 3.8, so yeah, this is better. Then I made the grid, the axis numbers and the axes go away, and then used my snipping tool. So all I'm doing is I'm just making a, a snapshot and that's it. And after I make a snapshot, I save it in a folder. I've discussed this uh, folder naming and saving technique, so I won't go, go into it right now. And I won't save it right now because I already saved the, the exact same thing right here. So I don't need to save it again. And after saving, I go, go to sketchbook. I go to sketchbook. Uh, import the image. I'll make this go away. I don't need it anymore. Import the image. And uh, now, how do I make this into a line? Well, well, first of all, I need to downsize it. That's a good thing to remember. Um, you, you need the appropriate size. So maybe 90% again, like this. That's better. And now let's see. What I do is I grab this, no, not this, this selection tool and use magic wand. When I press here and press delete, as you can see, the upper part's delete, deleted. Now I repeat on the lower part, also deleted. And I also don't need this guy, so delete that. And if I wish, I can let this line remain red, or if I want it to be exactly the same as in the uh, video, I can make it white. I missed it. <laughs> Second try, yeah. So, made it white, and now, as you can see, this is on a separate layer. Although they are kind of drawn together, the axes and this cosine uh, line, they're on a separate layer. So if I, if I make this layer disappear, then only the axes disappear and this cosine remains. So, yeah, you, you, need, to, you need to step up the layer game. So when I'm selecting this uh, cosine layer, I can act only on it. So I choose this tool. I didn't discuss this tool anywhere else, so uh, this is also a good time to discuss it. And um, it, it's just a quick transform. It helps you transform your layer, like downsize it, upsize it, what have you, and also move it around. So I press this. I can make I, I can I can place this outside the recording area, of course, so that it doesn't get recorded. And I move it. Oh, come on! And I move it around the way I like it, and that's it. So imagine you're recording. So let's just repeat what the uh, video did. So imagine we're in full screen mode, and this is the moment I need to move this cosine line. I just press this quick transform. It's outside the recording area, so no worries. Uh, this also appears outside the recording area. The only thing that appears uh, in the recording is, is this, but, well, it's not that tragic. Push the edge, and that's it. So this is how we move stuff around while other stuff remains put.